I'm like, bro, I just, I just can't believe that you scammed me. You took $200 back that I've already worked for. What can you say, nigga? Like, you asked for a collaboration. That's what you got. I collaborated with you. I edited your video. I used my camera. I uploaded your video. And I gave you a shout out. <clears throat> now, at that point, that was well worth $400. I worked for all that. Right? But you took it. You took $200 away. Sound like to me, this is what y'all do. You and your little girlfriend, y'all just go around scamming niggas. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See, I was really trying to eat the pussy, but she nervous. What was the purpose? I thought you fuck with girls then. See, that's when I ran into my baby Nick. Now, need turn my ass to a real fucking freak. Yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Nick G, the host. And today, let's talk about how I got scammed. Now, I already made a live and I wasn't going to make a video. But since I'm, uh, I guess, being threatened because uh, somebody has receipts, I'm going to go ahead and um, say my side of the story. Then uh, she could drop whatever the hell she going to drop and then we could just go from there. So, boom. It was January 19th, 2019. I went to the DDG show in Atlanta. I'm in line minding my motherfucking business, right? Chip. This bitch comes to me and says, what's up? Uh, are you who I think you are? Yeah, it's me. Oh, that's what's up, bro. I support you, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm like, that's what's up. You know, why y'all here? What y'all doing? Oh, we homeless, uh, but we just come here because we want to be big YouTubers and you know what I'm saying? Um, then asked me about some website that somebody supposedly got pictures of me and Jay and videos or something, whatever. So then she like, um, I'm drinking my, my onion soup. She said, how much would you charge for a collaboration? I said, you name the price. I don't know. I ain't never collab with a, a smaller YouTuber. I Really don't care. I'm really in Atlanta to just be in Atlanta that I wasn't even expecting to do this. She blurts out $400. Girl, what? I absolutely will do that for $400. I'm not going to go lower. I'm not going to go higher. I'm not going to debate with you about the price that you gave me. I'll take this $400. I did. She sent me $200 first before I even get to her sending me the money. I was about to go. Like, you know, we about to go, y'all. Sure, y'all want to do this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, about to cash that to you. Before she cashed that to me, she was talking about how some people was pretty much scamming on Cash App. You know they scamming on Cash App, like, um, they could pretty much refund their money. What, what she did, she told me, was possible. I shouldn't have done it. I guess she was trying to see if I was hip to it. I don't know. I'm like, whatever, uh, that's crazy. I'm going to watch my cash app. I'm thinking the cash app, not my bank account. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, y'all still want to pay for this uh, collaboration. You know, she seemed like she was uh, genuine. Then again, not. The whole time it was about, you know, somebody scamming y'all on this website. And I ain't trying to get scammed by nobody else. And we was working with somebody else, but they scammed us and all this shit. I shouldn't have never done it. Um, but this was my first little, you know what I'm saying? Go around. So I'm like, all right, bet I'll meet you. You know what I'm saying? At my hotel. I'll tell you what hotel I'm in. <clears throat> she come to the hotel. Didn't have her in my room because you smell like a pound of bounce that ass bitch. When you watch this video and you know, don't nobody tell me like, yo, Nick, you need to be humble. Nah, nigga. You need to wash. You know what I'm saying? You need to wash your ass is what you need to do. You smell like a pound of bounce that ass. Facts. Like, and why? I'm talking about she all the way over there. We had to move so we wouldn't smell that. It was that bad. When she came to the hotel, she changed her clothes. Put on newer clothes, but you so homeless. Anyway, we get she gets to the hotel. We go downstairs. Oh, man, my camera dead. I'm like, really? How you plan to do a collaboration your camera dead? I'm like, y'all don't have a charger? No. 
Let me go upstairs and go do this. Um, let me just go upstairs and go do this. Before she, before we even started the video, I told her to pay me my other 200. Why she paid 200 separately, I don't know yet. But she only disputed one charge. But anyway, so I go upstairs to get my camera, come back down. We do the video. The video went a little something like this. Neek wrote a clip. What's good, y'all? Y'all already know who it is. It's the Swiggity Swiggity Swift in this bitch. What's that? What's that? The Swiggity Swift. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. I'm just trying to make this paper stack. Life is hard enough because my skin is black. Today, I am with yours truly, Royalty World. What's poppin'? And we are going to be reacting to the latest video I just dropped. Look at me. So stay tuned for that, y'all. This nigga actually can rap. Went to the DDG concert and, uh... She walked up to me and was like, yo, are you who I think you are? And I was like, yeah. And she was <laughs> like, what that? So then she told me to listen to her music. You know, normally when people tell you to listen to their music, it's like, uh, cut it off. <laughs> nah, she can actually rap. She can actually rap. So we're going to do a live reaction for her, you know what I'm saying? On her channel, shit, I'm going to go ahead and subscribe. Shit. Appreciate that. No pride. And yeah, let's get to it. You ready? Yeah. Let's get it. I like it, man. Thank you. I feel like you got a, a bright future ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And I like how you came hollering at me. I respected it. So we had to get it popping. Make sure y'all subscribe to Royalty's World, man. You know? And y'all make sure y'all continue to fuck with her. She good people. All right, y'all. Y'all already know who it is. Royalty World and yours truly. So... I'm like, hmm, did the video, I'm ready to go upstairs, I, I've done my duties. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to edit this video. Her iPad doesn't work and this is wrong, that is wrong, I don't know how I'm going to get the clip and off of my camera. Don't have an iPhone so I can't Wi-Fi the shit to her. Or if she did have, I don't know what kind of phone she had but I couldn't, I couldn't transfer that damn video. I said, you know what? I edit it for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna edit the video for you. Then, you know, when you get it, you add your little effects, whatever you wanna do. How she did that, I don't know, cause I didn't put her intro on the video. I uploaded her video to her channel, by the way. So the video can be there. And I'm like, you know, you can add the tags and shit. Somehow she got her intro on there. This was after I left her. So a month later, she was complaining that um, you know, she didn't get enough views. Like that video didn't get no hits. And I'm like, you pay for a collaboration. To be honest, we were sending text messages and she pissed me off so bad. I don't know what I said. So <laughs> if she show y'all them receipts, mm, I don't know. I don't care. I said what I said though, whatever I said. But anyway, I ended up telling her, I'll give you a shout out. You know what I'm saying? On account of you not feeling like you... You know, you were pleased. But the term she used was, bruh, I paid you $400. I didn't get no hits on this video. I feel like I got scammed, is what she said. I'm like, nigga, how I scam you? I did a collaboration. You asked for a collaboration, not a shout out. Not only that, I told you I do shout outs and I will do a collaboration, but I'll do a shout out. You know what I'm saying? The shout out would have been a better way to go. I tell everybody that though. <clears throat> I told her I'd give her the shout out. She was cool with that. I gave her the shout out. Two. Y'all know I'm going to put that on the screen. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another family member promotion. They go by the name of Lil Swift TV. I actually did a collaboration with her in Atlanta. And she can actually wrap her ass off. Y'all need to go check out our video. The link will be in the description down below. And make sure you um, go subscribe to her. And, you know... She's at, she's currently at 929 subscribers. Y'all make sure y'all get her to at least 1300, man. At least 1300 by tonight. You understand, boy? Enjoy the video. Yesterday, I get a text from Cash App saying, let's say specifically what it said. Nila, Nyla, Icy filed a dispute with their bank for the $200 payment you received on 119.19. This payment will be refunded from your account. And I'm like, what? So I don't know 
if she gonna try and pull some lame shit because see she got a uh a little girlfriend or whatever her girlfriend is the one who paid that two hundred dollars so you know what i'm saying she's a scammer i don't know if she gonna be like you know how how did i i'm, I'm not even gonna give her no ideas y'all get what i'm saying her girlfriend paid that two hundred dollars you know what i'm saying and it was for her i'm thinking this when i'm trying to dispute it with cash app but cash app like yeah we're gonna have somebody holler at you in a few days but the money scheduled to come out on monday it's already pending on my account she gonna already she's gonna get but cash app how you not even ask me you know what i'm saying what happened like normally niggas give a statement or something you nothing you just agree with what she said and take my money that i've already worked for yeah that's crazy so i hit her up I, I, no actually i got on my ig story i started talking shit is what i did y'all know i'm gonna keep it a band i don't even know why she talking about she coming with receipts i don't know what receipts you have but the only ones you can ever have is the ones that i gave you know what i'm saying if she come out with some lies and some bullshit i would definitely let y'all know the video got like 100 views. She's been a YouTuber for years. I want y'all to know that. She's not new. If you don't have an audience of your own to watch your video, that's a problem, number one. Especially for you to be paying $400 for a collaboration and you don't have a following. That don't even make sense. You have to have a following in order for them to see that you did a collaboration with somebody else. I don't have millions of subscribers and, and all these views. I don't even have that. You know what I'm saying? I got a good amount of people that fuck with me, but they fuck with me. You get what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with me. So I'm like, nigga, you scared me. I'm gonna take you to court is what I said. I don't even think I screenshotted that. She had me so hot. She, she probably got it. I don't have it. I wasn't busy taking screenshots. I just, I'm like, bro, I just, I just can't believe that you scared me. You took $200 back that I've already worked for. What can you say, nigga? Like, you asked for a collaboration. That's what you got. I collaborated with you. I edited your video. I used my camera. I uploaded your video. And I gave you a shout out. <clears throat> Now, at that point, that was well worth $400. I worked for all that, right? But you took it. You took $200 away. Sound like to me, this is what y'all do. You and your little girlfriend, y'all just go around scamming niggas. You said some shit about Joelle and Lauren that they were supposed to meet you in Orlando. Joelle and Lauren they ain't been to no Orlando. They show you everywhere they go. He asked you for a deposit supposedly now if he asked for a deposit i ain't give it to him because you know what i'm saying neek wrote a clip in order for me to protect myself i need to make sure a you ain't trying to kill me b that you actually trying to do this video so if he did ask for a deposit then that's what the fuck he was asking for a deposit for now you are going around trying to i don't know seems like i don't i don't like the word clout i don't like the word come up i don't like none of that shit my nigga at all but she had the nerve to say that i was clout chasing <laughs> i'm clout chasing she had a story yesterday matter of fact i think i could play the volume on here some damn views or whatever the hell you trying to do like you was trying to do with domo trying to get all them views now you over here confused so much about sexual and dated a dude in the high school what the fuck dog stop trying to fucking trend stop trying to clout chase stop trying to hop on the bandwagon and do something with yourself instead of sitting your ass down the computer talking shit about people you about to be like choice tv my goodness bruh keep my name out your fucking mouth and by the way i'm loving the views on my video so tell your fans that how about that bitch <laughs> And now you got people sending you money. So how the hell am I the scam when you over here trying to sympathize people out of their money? Nigga, ain't one time I asked anybody to send me no damn money. Where the receipts that you claim you have? Funniest story I've ever seen, especially when she said bitch. She had to debate on whether she was going to say bitch or not. That's hilarious. But listen, scamming ain't my thing, player. 
it's a difference in like, say you owe niggas money, right? You owe them some money for something. You know what I'm saying? You borrowed, whatever. Shit like that. I've done that in my life, for sure, for sure. Damn sure pay niggas back. And if I ain't paid you back, I'm gonna pay you back. See, that's, that's the type of nigga I am. But not ever will I <laughs> let somebody pay me for a service, I get the service, and then I take the money back. Oh no. That's called a scam. It's called being a scammer. You scammed me. The only receipts that needed to be needed was me doing this video with you. Me showing a shout out and uh, me speaking with you in general. You get what I'm saying? You smell like a pound of bounce that ass. I still work with you. You was talking about scamming the whole time. Shame on me. You know what I'm saying? Shame on me. But it's a lesson learned. It'll never happen again. You tell your little side and your little receipts and whatever the fuck you got. But nigga, that don't take nothing away from the fact that you's a scammer, money. Talking about I'm fat and all that. Listen, I'd rather be fat than be a scammer. I promise you that. Being a scammer or being a thief is the worst thing you could be. And that is what you are. You know what I'm saying? So, then you said, I'm, I'm asking people for money. I provide services just like this here. Somebody sent me this. I promoted every video. I wasn't paid to do that. She just gave it to me. I like the product. I promote it. I have a t-shirt line. I'm going to promote it. I have good CBD with a 10% off uh, coupon for my family. I'm going to promote it. I got a hell of a party coming up. I'm going to promote it. People choose to buy. Then they get what they want. But none of them have taken their money back except you. You know what I'm saying? I actually have only had maybe two complaints. But you are the worst. <laughs> but I tell you what. You enjoy the shit out of that $200. Wipe your ass with a net thing. That won't ever happen again. You know what I'm saying? And karma's a bitch. So what you doing? If you think that's cool and you think that's going to get you a reward or something. The lamest shit you could ever do. But you feel free to be that person you are. You know what I'm saying? But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. You know? I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed. Get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world okay and I got to make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I got to ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.